Something I really liked about Athena and I think what set it apart in a way is that they really focus on the student and they really try and um, cater the whole experience to that student's passions. They don't really try to fit you in a box and I think that's what works when you know, you're applying to colleges as well because they want to see you for your most authentic self. Hi, my name is Isha Jain. Um, I go to the British school and I'm going to Stanford in the fall. When I first came into the college process, I definitely didn't expect it at all. Especially that six months in the first semester when you're applying to colleges, all of the different things that would kind of come and bombard me from all sides. Uh, the exams and then your essays and all of your extracurriculars and as well as creating a profile that kind of works. I've always been someone that likes to be very independent and do things myself, but I think something that I really uh, realized in those couple of months especially and through Athena as well is that I I really needed my friends and family at that time so even just going on calls with my friends basically every night while studying or you know talking to my counselor Annie Mam when I was having a bit of a hard day or just falling back on my family and I guess those little like moments with the people that meant a lot to me really helped me get through it. It started off really scattered, like I didn't really know where to start or how to go. I remember um, my first meeting with Rahul sir, um, he asked me, what do you think makes you so special? And I had like no idea what to say to that. So I really wasn't too sure what I wanted to do. Um, I joined Athena two years before I ended up applying and um, before now. So I, I definitely needed some direction, which I think Athena helped me with a lot. A great thing about Athena is that they cater like themselves and the whole experience they provide for each student. So um, let's say if a student comes in and they need more help with writing and that aspect, then they'll get that. Or if someone just needs more help with time management and organizational skills. So it sort of changes based on that. And I think for me, definitely something was that I came in, I didn't even know what subjects I wanted to take and I was interested in like this and this and this and I didn't really know um, how to go about that. So, um, you know, they gave me books to read and then being able to explore different things initially. And then when I finally had some sort of an idea of what I wanted to do, sort of helping me build that and, you know, get more projects to solidify that. So I think being able to find my brand, inner brand as they like to call it, right? So I think that goes um, a lot beyond just college because I mean now I'm done with the whole college process but I learned a lot about myself and my interests that I think um, has been really valuable to me. I think in many 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 ways I think definitely something that I didn't expect was um, how much I'll have to reflect on myself and I think especially applying to the US something that I didn't really know would happen is that in the process of writing all of the essays and all of that you really need to look at what's important to you and you know why are these things important to you and what makes you um, the person that you are and I think being at Athena and having like all of the counselors talking to me and all of the meetings and interactions I think that was really crucial for me because there's like a lot of focus and a lot of importance given to that idea of self-reflection which I think uh, really helps to sort of present yourself in the best way to colleges. I joined uh, Athena's robotics team and um, I worked uh, in that team for around a year and I was working um, in construction as well as design and outreach and I think not only the technical side of it because I hadn't really worked on robotics ever in my life but definitely being able to balance it with everything else that was going on um, and I think also collaboration because I was working in a team and um, I hadn't really worked for that long with that big of a team and we were all coming from different schools when something unexpected happens being able to come back from that and having sort of the willpower and being able to talk to the team and strategize and think of a new sort of way to look at it and scratching it out and trying it again and again. Yeah. We won the uh, rookie all-star award at the regional so that was great. This was definitely something I thought a lot about. Um, like my parents, they, for example, really wanted me to apply to uh, Cambridge and Oxford. So that was like a big discussion at our house because initially I was going to apply, but when I looked at the colleges and I kind of compared them to colleges like Stanford and the ones in the US, I didn't really think it was 
although obviously amazing colleges, um, for me personally, I didn't know how good of a fit it was. So I think that was a bit of a difficult conversation to have with my parents to convince them. But I think uh, it, eventually I did not end up applying and I think that was for the best. So I think going beyond like the reputation and actually seeing what you value, and I think it kind of differs from person to person. Like I have some friends that care a lot about the location or, you know, different factors. But I think through reflection and self-introspection, I was able to identify some of the things that meant a lot to me and then being able to decide based on that, yeah. So I'd have meetings with Annie Mam and Rahul Sir about the whole brainstorming process and when that entire thing was going on. And I remember for one of my Stanford essays, actually, uh, it was the roommate essay, and I had kind of left it for a week or two and I had my meeting with Rahul Sir. I was just sitting on my desk and I had no idea what to do. And he told me to get a draft ready by that meeting. So I think like 20 minutes before the meeting, I had an empty page and I just had no idea what to write. So I wrote something on the page, but I think that bit of time pressure, um, it actually ended up coming up with something and then we were able to refine it. So that one essay, we didn't have to edit that much, surprisingly. So yeah, it was quite cool. Um, other than that, I think the whole editing process, for me, I had, I think the Common App essay especially was something that took me a while to sort of flesh out. And with my counselor, Annie Mam, um, we worked a lot on coming up with the idea and doing many different um, drafts of it and many different types of drafts, which did fail. Like, I think I must have made like 20 mind maps and we had like three hour, four hour discussions just on what to write about. So I think that part was definitely difficult uh, or more difficult for me. That part was what taught me a lot. I think one obstacle would definitely be learning how to organize my time. And I think definitely being at Athena helped me with that because you do have to work and you know, it's not really like you can just sit back, which I, I liked a lot. I came in and I sort of would leave things to the last minute. And then when I started with the IB program and things started building up, I realized that this would not work. Like I'd have to sort of have some other sort of strategy to balance everything, understanding and learning how to prioritize what's important. And then also make time for talking to friends and family at the same time. Purposeful, warm and passionate purposeful because as I was at Athena for those two years, sort of being able to really understand what made me special in a way, I think that was really beautiful. Warm, it's like a great place to be. I mean, just coming to the office and there's always someone there to help you and talk to you and just have a conversation about something. Like I spent a lot of my days of high school just coming to the Athena office and getting my work done. And the atmosphere is, you know, really buzzing and kind of motivates you to do more. And passion, I think something I really liked about Athena and I think what set it apart in a way is that they really focus on the student and they really try and um, cater the whole experience to that student's passions. They don't really try to fit you in a box. And I think that's what works when you know, you're know you applying to colleges as well because they want to see you for your most authentic self.